All right, so as you guys might have heard, there was a data download recently on the JP side. Global should also be getting one very soon. And today, we're going to quickly go over everything that was included in this data download to give you guys an idea of uh, what's coming for the 350 million download celebration, which is starting in less than 24 hours from now. Now, before we get into it, I do want to give a huge shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all these assets. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And from there, we're going to scroll down just a little bit. Now, there was this celebration preview video, which I'm not going to play right now, mainly because every time I play one of these, my video gets copyright claimed, which really sucks. And I feel like it's probably better for you guys to watch it for the first time when the celebration starts anyways. So uh, yeah, we're going to skip through that and scroll down a little bit more. And as you guys can see, there were a lot of assets from this data download. And the first thing are uh, some assets for the free to play Tex Arbon. Right there, we saw his art in the preview in game, but uh, he will be getting a token awakening and also most likely an Extreme Z awakening in part two of the celebration. We also have some new maps for some new stages. This is the uh, second level for the Grand Priest event where we get the Ginyu 4 skill orbs. And we also have some uh, other new story stages right there. I'll just give you guys a quick look. Not gonna spend too much time on any of them. But uh, there you go. And we also have some more story stages. Okay. So just gonna scroll through these real quick. And we have boss rush level 13. Now, I don't know if we know exactly which, uh, you know, token events are included in this one. But we have one, two, three, four, five, six token events, it looks like. Um, probably some of the newer ones, obviously. But... I don't think it really matters too much. It's most likely going to be 35 stones for the clear. And uh, this was big news. Okay, so this uh, is an upcoming Extreme Z battle, Extreme Z Awakening, or the tech transforming Frieza from the 250 million download celebration. So uh, a Dokkan Fest category. I mean, he was a category lead, right? No, actually, I think the Goku and the Frieza were 120 leads for super and extreme respectively so uh anyways yeah dokkan fest unit dokkan fest tech transforming frieza getting an extreme z awakening pretty big deal pretty big deal and we also have his extreme z awakening medals here of course um i don't know what to make of this i'm honestly still a little bit shocked by the news uh, i guess it was to be expected that one of the Goku or Frieza was going to be getting Extreme Z Awakening, and it looks like Frieza's getting it right now. Maybe Goku gets one in part two, possibly. We don't know, but that'd be cool. Um, although for the anniversary, only the UI Goku got one and not SSB Vegeta, so it could be another one of those situations. We'll have to see. But what we know for, for sure right now is that Frieza is getting that easy A. The medals are there. Um, I'm stoked, man. I'm excited to see what he does. Uh, from there, we have some uh, Extreme Z area slash uh, ticket or uh, sticker mask, my bad, sticker mask animations for the Tech Goldo and also the Fizz Raccoon from the Free to Play Ginyu Force. And it looks to me like they're not going to be Extreme Z awakening all five of the members at once. It's going to be I guess maybe two first and then the remaining ones in part two or something like that. Or maybe it's going to be like a week later. But for now, we only have the stages slash assets for Raccoon and Goldo. So there you go. Yeah, those are their medals. And maybe they'll be released yeah, weekly or something like that. But it's only those two for now. And of course, we'll go over their uh, details in a moment once we get through all this stuff so some new trade jewels here we have the second memorial dragon stone now this is kind of uh not nice i guess the fact that they kind of denoted that this as like the second memorial dragon stone because 
what this means is that we can't really combine last year's Memorial Dragonstones with this year's if like you had some extras I was thinking maybe like if they kept the same price for units and people actually wanted to buy specific units they could like combine what they had last year or maybe just save up over the years for like multiple years or something like that to buy certain units right but as you can see man this is number two which means that you can't use them um you know with the ones from last year which like i said is just not nice it's not cool they could have just totally let us combine them but what it is what it is i guess nothing we can do about it um maybe something to consider in the future if you're watching bandai spies but this is the memorial dragonstone which you can convert into tickets uh summoning tickets that is or you know use them to buy specific units uh, in the Baba shop now we don't know what the prices are going to be are they going to be the same are they going to be different can't really say it right now we also have a new red dragon stone no surprise there and also a new purple dragon stone and this is the exchange uh ticket to get your skill orbs your ginyu four skill orbs in the secret treasure chest and what else do we have here uh oh just the same thing in a different format so there you have it and uh, we also have the, I guess, new secret treasure chest for Ginyu Force, skill orbs, and also the new support memory. Now, the effect for this one is, uh, let me just quickly pop over actually to Goresh's page. Big shout out to Goresh for the translations. He has the translation here. Uh, extreme class allies attack and defense plus 10% for two turns if there is a super class enemy once only. So pretty good, not only for Ginyu Force, which was what I was expecting, so it's an extreme class, uh, extreme team uh, support memory. And we also have new login screen, which, uh, I mean, it doesn't really show you much, but it's pretty sick. It's pretty clean. And we also have the new Peton Battle uh, stickers. So, of course, there's a lot of them. I'm just going to quickly scroll through, through them like I did with the stages. Got your Majin Vegeta, we got your Deborah, your Babidi, uh, you know, all of the minions right here, Frieza, Gohan, uh, Sashimi, you know, Krillin, Goten, uh, and so on and so forth. <laughs> As you can see, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, pretty nice, Golden Frieza, Saiyan Man, Gohan. Now we have the LR Majin Vegeta, which is pretty awesome. I like that. I like that a lot. It's just really funny to me too, like the chibi form of Majin Matita is just something extra funny about that. Uh, but yeah, there are all the new stickers from Series 4. The Series 4 series, oh Series 4, yeah, Series series 4 of uh, Pets on Battle. And you guys will be able to get them once the new Pets on Battle comes out. I think specifically for JP, I don't believe Global's getting this for the time being, because we don't have Series 3 yet. I think it's really late man my brain's like not working properly but i'm pretty sure this is only for jp right now and uh yeah some more assets for pets on battle some new story assets now now these are for of course the new story events uh there's two of them i got the guinea force got tian got frieza got uh another raccoon got a birder got a jace got nail burst form frieza some pretty dope assets actually uh and also some new backgrounds and i think that does it yeah those are all the assets for the data download once again man shout out to my boy proton at 10 mg like i know it's super late where he lives and uh he stayed up just to bring this to us so he deserves a follow from you like i said man follow this man if you aren't already doing so now popping over to goresh's page thank you to Gore thank you to goresh as always and uh let's just quickly go over the raccoon and gold oezas so starting with the raccoon leader skill man it's so bright leader skill is terrifying conquerors key plus three hp attack and defense plus 77 percent and fizz types key plus three hp attack and defense plus 50 percent super attack greatly raises attack for one turn causes supreme damage and greatly lowers defense and passive is let me make my head disappear first uh, attack and defense plus 120% gains an additional attack and defense plus 30% per attack received up to 120%. High chance to guard against all attacks if there is a Ginyu Force category ally other than this character on the team. That is fantastic. <laughs> That's um, very, very significant attack and defense boost. High chance to guard too is, I mean, I don't love the chance, but 
you know, it's still 50%, which is solid. And when he guards, attacks, he's going to be a very, very good tank. And um, yeah, just pretty good. Just just really good. And then we have the Goldo, which is Namek Saga, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, and tech types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack greatly raises defense for one turn and causes supreme damage with a high chance to stun. And then the passive is attack and defense plus 80%, gains an additional attack and defense plus 40%. When key is 12, attack enemies attack and defense minus 20% and seal super attack. And then gains an additional attack and defense plus 10% per Ginyu Force category ally on the team. Max of 50%. And uh, yeah, just like Raccoon, man, looking good looking really really solid um there's not much else i can say i mean high chance to stun is fantastic uh guaranteed seal um good attack and defense boost too if you have you know a candy force team and yeah goldo is gonna be nice as well so those are the two easy as we currently know about um as i said man the other ones i guess are coming maybe next week maybe in part two can't really say hopefully sooner than later oh that's the login screen by the way you guys can take a quick look yeah it's pretty good it's pretty good and uh i think the last thing i just want to quickly mention is that we are getting um oh no let's pause that nope 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 pause that uh <laughs> we are yo i swear if that tiny clip gets me copy striked or at least copy claimed I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be pissed, man. I'm gonna be really upset about that, but I think we'll be okay. Um, what was I saying again? Oh, yeah, uh, the Harunga Dragon Ball campaign is back as well. Harunga Dragon Balls, I think three sets in total. Uh, I guess nine wishes in total. That's gonna be back, so look forward to my video, as I always do, talking about how to get all the balls. That should be fun. And uh, there you go, guys. Those are the assets from this data download. That is your data download update. We got less than 24 hours before the download celebration begins, man. And if you guys haven't heard, LR Super Saiyan Goku and Full Power Frieza. The World's Oakon Fest coming for the celebration. So that is, uh, I guess, not a surprise to anybody. But it's confirmed now. So there you have it. And... Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, man. I'll see you soon for the uh, stream tomorrow for sure. And probably a second stream when the anniversary or celebration actually begins. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, man. As always, if you like today's video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, Hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.